Hello, and welcome to this podcast. You will be working on this parabolic solar concentrator. Now, let's start with the dish itself. It consists of 30 reflecting aluminium segments, all placed along the frame of acetal laser cut elements. It is all located on a big frame, mounted to the front at the focal area, which also houses the receiver, and mounted at the back through a KJN structure. There are also two tracking mechanisms on this rig, one at the front doing the left and the right tilt, also called the azimuth, and one at the rear which is called the zenith which does the motion from front to back. If you're interested in how these individual segments are assembled onto the frame, then please follow the link in the screen. Also, if you're interested in how the individual segments are coated with the reflective layer, then follow the next link. Now that we've seen the real life setup, let's look at the animation that I've prepared. Looking at the rear mechanism, the stepper motor twists, the lead screw rotates, a threaded nut pushes the assembly forward, exerting the twist and the dish forward. Now importantly, you have to design the stepper motor to withstand the holding torque. And at the front, it's a pretty similar setup, motor rotates, the lead screw also rotates, a threaded nut pushes the assembly to the left and right. The only difference is that the assembly is a lot more complicated than the rear one. This originating from the fact that the focal area needs to be left free from any obstruction because it gets really hot when sunlight gets concentrated on it. These two boxes are used to control the motors. They consist of a power supply and a motor driver each. We have two sets of cables respectively, one of which is used for the motor connection, the other is used for the Arduino, which are labelled 1 and 2. This box contains the Arduino with an LCD and a real-time clock. The two motor connections are at the front and there's a USB and a power supply at the back. Once we open it up, we can see the Arduino itself. This box is a data acquisition by National Instruments. Thermocouples are attached to the front and secured through the two screws. Next up, let's look at the assembly of the entire structure. First of all, connect the motors and attach them to a power supply so we can exert the holding torque. Then we'll start mounting the dish at the rear first and then at the front axles. After two days of testing, there was a list of things that needed to be improved about the general setup. As you can see in the picture in a minute, when the dish tilts to the right, the axles twist around each other, which is um, really counterproductive in terms of the accuracy of the tracking. Second of all, um, a lot of bending occurred within the structure as well, so that's another future project that needs to be redesigned. Um, in other terms, health and safety issues were also addressed, and the dish was made to be easily assemblable.